Greetings everyone and welcome back, this is Marco and today we are comparing four vintage 28mm lenses. Vintage 28mm are as common as the 50mm we've already talked about and just as affordable, if not even cheaper. But not all of them were created equal and that's why today we are comparing 4 of them that I own and use. The Canon FD, the Pentacon Auto, the Soligor CD and the Yashica DSB. Now technically the Pentacon is a 29mm but honestly it doesn't make much of a difference. Quick disclaimer, all tests and samples were shot on a Sony A6500 with an APS-C sensor. If you want to help me upgrade to a full frame camera, feel free to share this video or if you have 99 cents to spare, to become a member of the channel. Also you can find individual reviews for each of the lenses here on the channel. And now let's jump to physical specs. The Canon FD is made of both hard plastic and metal. It weighs 180 grams, it is 43 to 46 mm long with a 52 mm front thread. The iris has 5 blades, the aperture is clicked and it goes from f2.8 to f22. Focusing ring turns 130 degrees and minimum focusing distance is 30 cm. Flange distance is 42 mm. The Pentagon is made of metal with a rubberized focus ring. It weighs 220 grams, it is 44.5 to 50 mm long, with a 55 mm front thread. The iris has 6 blades, the aperture is clicked, and it goes from f2.8 to f22. The focusing ring turns 160 degrees, and minimum focusing distance is 25 cm. Flange distance is 45.46 mm. The Soligor is made out of metal with a rubberized focus ring. It weighs 200 grams, it is 33 to 37 mm long, with a 49 mm front thread. The iris has 6 blades, the aperture is clicked and it goes from f2.8 to f22. The focusing ring turns 180 degrees and minimum focusing distance is 30 cm. It came in many different mounts, so flange distance varies. The Ashika is made out of metal with a rubberized focus ring. It weighs 220 grams, it is 40 to 44 mm long, with a 52 mm front thread. The iris has 6 blades, the aperture is clicked, and it goes from f2.8 to f16. Focusing ring turns 160 degrees, and minimum focusing distance is 30 cm. Flange distance is 45.5 mm. In terms of sharpness wide open, the Canon wins hands down, being sharp both in the center and in the corners. The Yashica has good corner sharpness as well, while the Pentacon is the worst with very soft edges.
Stopping down to F8, they all get equally sharp, but the Canon and the Yashica show some chromatic aberration in the corners. The Pentagon seems to be ever so slightly brighter than the others at all apertures. Colors and contrast vary quite a bit. The Canon has neutral, if a bit cold, colors, and the least amount of contrast. The Pentagon has the warmest tones, while still being low on contrast. The Soligor has the most contrast and saturation, and the second warmest tones. The Ashika is very close to the Canon, with just a tiny bit more contrast and saturation. Minimum focusing distance is consistent across the board, with the only exception of the Pentacon, which can focus 5 cm closer than the others. Bokeballs look basically the same, with the exception of the Pentacon, thanks to the closer minimum focusing distance. The Pentacon is the only one to show some swirl in the backgrounds. They all suffer from focus breathing, but we knew that, didn't we? Both the Canon and the Yashica show some chromatic aberration wide open, while the Pentacon and the Soligor have close to none. All of them show a bit of ghosting and some flares, but the Canon seems to deal with them the best. While the 50mm we've previously compared performed almost equally, the 28mm show more differences and more individual character. The Canon is noticeably more precise and clean, the Pentacon lends itself to more creative shots, the Soligor and the Ashika, well, they're maybe a bit more anonymous while still maintaining that classic vintage look. Well, that's all. Let me know which one is your favorite or if you ever had the chance to try or own one of these lenses. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!